channel or welcome to my channel if you're new hi my name is Richie and I'm so glad that you're here this video as you can guess from the title I'm going to be doing my April TBI and I'm going to be using my TBR prompts jar again I'm so excited to do this I haven't done this in a while I feel like I haven't done like a TBR video in a minute and I usually have been doing them like every month even if I don't stick to my TBR I still have been doing them every month so I'm really glad to be able to do it again and kind of get back into it I feel like the start of this year has just been so crazy busy for me that I've just barely got in time <laughs> to read and it has been severely hurting me because I just know so many good books are coming out this year and there's so many good books that are like on my like mental TBR if you will and also my physical TBR like my bookshelf is packed to the broom with books and things that I haven't read yet and I am going to get another bookshelf to go here because I kind of want a bookshelf with books I've read and another one that's going to be kind of like my TBR bookshelf I don't know that's kind of my plan but I thought I would do a TBR video because I do want to kind of get through my physical TBR so I already have a lot of books that I've been buying since last year and with all the fun new releases coming out this year I just want to make sure that you know I'm not just neglecting the books I own and just buying new books and like all of that I think I'll also probably be doing a little bit of a book unhaul sometime soon probably in the next few weeks because there's definitely some books in my shelf that I just will not end up reading. I kind of bought them when I thought they were kind of trending and I was like getting a lot of opinions about them and I was intrigued by them but now I just don't think I'm intrigued or excited by them at all and I don't want to just keep books for the sake of keeping books as well and yeah. I think I'm going to do that and then donate some books as well, something like that. But I want to do a little bit of book unhaul because definitely have a lot of books in here that I just don't know if I'm going to read. Anyway, stay tuned for a book unhaul at some point. But in this video, we're going to be doing the TBR jar chooses my April TBR. I think I'm going to choose six books this month and hopefully I stick to my TBR. I have bought some books recently, so if I add some newish purchases then it will make me more inclined to read on my TV of the month so anyway I'm gonna stop yapping and let's just get straight into it and we'll choose the prompts I've added some new prompts as well so hopefully we get some new fun exciting ones the first prompt that I have is a book that matches the current season and I live in Australia and we're going into autumn or we're in autumn basically so I'm gonna look for kind of like an autumny fall book that I feel like will go with the vibes because it's been getting very cold here in Melbourne it's been freezing. I think I'm gonna go with like a fun fall kind of themed book. I don't know. I feel like a fantasy would be really good here. I think I'm gonna go with Truly Devious as my first book on my TBR. It matches the current season of being in like fall. All I know about this one is that it's set in an academy and there's some sort of murder that's happening and it's kind of like a gothic academic like dark academia vibe kind of book and it's like a mystery that's just a fun little read and i feel like it's bringing the crazy vibe so i think i'm gonna add this as the first book on my tbr all right let's do the next book my next prompt is a book set in a small town and i feel like this is perfect i think i know exactly what i'm gonna keep this like prompt for pre-ordered Elsie Silver's new series like her first book in her new series in Rose Hill and that's obviously a small town set in sort of the same universe as Chestnut Springs I'm really excited for that book and I love Elsie Silver been on my channel and you've heard me talk about books you've probably heard me talk about Elsie Silver's and the Chestnut Springs series it's one of my favorite series I've read all of them and it's like the only series I've ever fully completed I think the first one is called Wild Love I pre-ordered it and it should come out on the 9th of April so I feel like that is definitely a book that's on my TBR like I know I have so many books that probably fit in with the small town um, prompt I just want to save that for Wild Love and for Elsie Silva so I'm gonna save that one and I'm so excited to read that like I've heard so many good things already for people who've got an ox and it just seems like it's really fun and I just love her books like there's such just a fun easy quick binge so I think I'm gonna save this for that that's my second book on my TBR the next prompt is a book that you think will be a five star I think this is gonna be a fun little prompt because there are so many books that could potentially be five stars but I just have no clue and I have not had my first five star of the year yet like I feel like I've gotten close like I've gotten definitely books that are like good reads but they're just not hitting it like that exact way that a five star read usually hits so I honestly have no idea so I'm gonna have to have a quick look because I don't know what could be a five star okay I'm kind of going between two books for this one and they're both 
pretty opposite, pretty different. One of them is a YA book, which is better than the movies. I've seen, again, so many people talk about this over the past like two years now. Like it's been a long time and I've seen people literally rave about this book. This is like people's all time favorite rom-com, five star read. If I'm in the mood for something fun, this would definitely be. It just seems like it's Lynn Painter's best book. So I'm really curious about this one and I feel like it would be a five stars because I love a good cheesy romance, but then also I'm like, I feel like if I'm in the mood for it, tomorrow, tomorrow, and tomorrow will definitely be a five star. And I have not read this yet, and I cannot believe that. I feel like I'm one of the only people who has not read this yet, but it feels like this one might have a bit more depth to it in terms of the story and the characters. But I have heard in Better Than The Movies that there's like a lot of talk about grief and stuff. So I really just don't know. I don't know which one is going to be a good five stars. I think I'm just gonna add better than the movies to my TBR. I really wanna read Tomorrow, Tomorrow, Tomorrow. Don't get me wrong. If I get through my TBR, I might read it and I might pick it up. And let's see if we even stick to my TBR firstly. But I think, I don't know. I just saw a video of someone talking about it today when I was watching some YouTube and I feel like, I think I might like this a bit more just like in the mood that I'm in right now. So we'll see. I think I'm gonna add this to my TBR and this will be the third book and hopefully this is a five star i'm fingers crossed guys let's hope that this is a five star and i finally get a five star read in 2024 okay the next prompt is a book with numbers in the title i don't know what is a book with a number in the title okay i don't have any books with a number in the title so i think i'm just gonna go with another prompt because that's obviously not gonna work for me so let's choose another prompt my next prompt is a book with a green cover Okay, I feel like I don't have that many green books that I still have yet to read. I've got The Maid by Nita Prose. I know this might be a little bit of a stretch, but it definitely counts because the cover is green because of the grass and everything, as you can see. But this is a Far Wilder Magic, which is like a young adult fantasy, cozy fantasy kind of vibe. And I've seen a few people talk about this on TikTok and stuff. Not a lot of people, and I think I've heard, I think I... Katie is reading she talked about it I'm not too sure if it was her or someone else but I think it was her and it got me really intrigued into this storyline and into like a cozy fantasy something a bit different to the usual fantasies that I read and I feel like because it's green it kind of makes sense and I really want to read this and try it out also it's a library book so I would love to read it before I have to return it or renew it or anything so I think I'm going to add this book to my TBR as well I feel like this is going to be a fun bit of a different read I read A Study in Drowning in March and I thought that was a crazy fantasy but it was definitely not and it was a bit of a weird story it was just not what I expected so hopefully this is different to that and is actually like a fantasy so I'm going to add this to my TBR that is my fourth book on my TBR and then we've got two more to go. The next prompt is a book by an author that you've never read before. I feel like that's a really fun one because I have so many books and I have so many books with authors that I've not read before. I've got Anna Huang, I've got Tali Hibbert, and I've got so many other random authors that I haven't read before. I honestly don't know what to go for here. I am very curious about a specific book that I've recently bought. I think this is a book I'm going to choose for this one because I've not read anything by this author, Bryn Weaver. And it is Butcher and Blackbird. I've heard so many incredible things about this book, although people do say it's gory, which I'm kind of fine with as long as I'm not seeing the gore visually. I think I'm okay with it because I mean in like fantasy and stuff people are always getting hurt and they talk about it I mean it's probably not as gory but I feel like it's still there you know what I mean so I'm okay with it but we'll see how I go I might disagree later but I'm really curious about this people have rated this like five stars and like I don't know it's a bit different for me it's like a serial killer romance is this considered a dark romance probably right I think it's considered a dark romance and I'm just so curious but I feel like it just somehow broke through the mainstream and literally everybody I know who has read it seems to have absolutely devoured it and loved it so I'm so excited this is about two rival murderers who become friends they're both serial killers and I guess they kill people who are the worst than themselves so I feel like it's a fun read and I'm just really curious about it and again it was a recent purchase so I feel like that'll make me want to go through my TBL more so I think I'm going to add this to the list because I'm just so excited about this and I'm just so curious I'm just so curious about this that's the next book on my TBR okay last book on my TBR I wonder what it'll be 
Okay, my next prompt is a book that is a rom-com, which is literally right up my alley. Like 85% of the books I have are like rom-coms. And I'm so excited about that one. A rom-com, I think the first thing that went to my, came to my head, which is super random, is when in rome by sarah adams i have not read this book and i was really meaning to last year i did start it and i kind of soft dnf'd it because i was reading something else at the same time and then i ended up reading that one and i kind of forgot about this one but i did enjoy it when i like started reading it because i thought it was really cute like the meat cute and the setup and everything i might restart it because i can't remember exactly what happened she's basically like a pop star and then she needs a break she drives off and she goes to this random place and i think her car breaks down and someone like helps her and then that's become their like little meet cute and that's her little love interest and he's like a small town baker something like that and i feel like this is gonna be a fun little read i feel like everyone who's read it basically said it was just a fun cute little rom-com and i think it just gives off that vibe like especially when there's cute little meet cutes like that i feel like i'll always just envision a perfect like rom-com in my head and it's playing along as i'm like reading the book if that makes sense so i think this is going to be the next book on my tbr and the last book for april i feel like this is a fun way to kind of say bye to the warm weather which i think is slowly going away here in australia so so yeah this is the last book the sixth book on my tbr i'm so excited these are all the books on my tbr for this month We've got when in rome butcher and blackbird a far wilder magic better than the movies truly devious and also wild love by elsie silver i'm so excited for that one and i'm excited for all these i just feel so excited to read again because i feel like i have more time now and things are just like kind of coming down and i'm settling back into my routines and everything not that i was like traveling but things just have been really full on and i don't know i just like need a break so anyway i'm just excited to kind of fully get back into reading i'm excited to get on the shelf and i'm just excited to see how like all the book stuff is going to continue this year there's so many fun releases coming out and i'm so excited to just read them especially like a funny story coming out later this month i'm so like beyond excited for that one i've ordered a signed copy if you want a signed copy go to booktopia because i think they're doing a pre-order of a signed copy of a funny story and it's only like a few dollars more than what the actual one would cost anyway when it first comes out so if you're in australia definitely check that out but anyway i'm gonna end off the video here thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed this little book video i'm so glad that you've stuck around and watched the whole video make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video if you haven't already but that's about it i'll catch you guys in the next vlog bye